Greetings from the South Men, literally. In this series, I've set out to accomplish the strongest rusher Gilinor has ever seen, a 10 HP Iron Man account with 50 attack, 99 strength, and 43 prayer. Overheads are allowed. My end goal is to get my hands on the coveted Granite Maul and rush people to Narnia. But there's a twist. If I get 11 HP, I'm not restarting. And that's a fact. Attention, my fellow pumpers. We have a new pumper joining our community here today. May everyone please direct their attention to the west and welcome South Mitten with open arms into the community. Bizarre dicks. <laughs> Please escort me around these parts. You drunk bastard. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, we're pumping. I am officially, officially one of you lads. This is the greatest day of my life. Here it comes. 60 strength and 1, 2, 3, now. Alright. The next thing is, is to open up all of these crates. We have quite a few that we've gathered. Can't remember exactly how many, but we can quickly find out. We're going to open 278 crates. now. I already opened like the first 40 or so and all that loot can be found here. I didn't decide to save them until I was like 40 crates in obviously, um, but whatever, we're going to open up the rest now. But before I open up the winter talk crates, I did just want to bring you guys up to speed on the account. I wasn't recording in the beginning stages of this account, so my narration of what I did in the beginning is going to have to do. The first thing I decided to do on this account was the monk's friend quest. And the reason why I did this was because it gave me 2000 woodcutting experience, which I'd be able to use later on my journey to 50 fire making and the ability to go to winter talk. And it also gave me eight law runes, which is very good for a beginning Iron Man account. So if you're ever making a new Iron Man account or a 10 HP Iron Man account, I definitely recommend doing this as one of the first quests on the account. So after I did this quest, like I said, I started woodcutting to get enough logs for 50 fire making. 50 fire making is obviously a requirement for winter top. And while on the process of getting 50 fire making, I ended up getting all the way to 57 woodcutting and also decided to get my fletching up a little bit because you get fletching experience uh, at winter top and I didn't want to start at one fletching. So I went all the way up to 45 fletching as well. After this, I knew that I needed a bunch of food for winter tot, so I decided to go to our doin and steal cakes from the cake stall. I ended up probably stealing 500 cakes or so, and I went all the way up to 29 thieving. And then the final thing I decided to do was to get my construction up a little bit because when you fix the braziers at winter tot, you get construction experience, and once again, it scales just like fletching does based on your level, and I didn't want to start at level one. So I ended up getting 21 construction. And yeah, there you have it. I went to winter tot and as I was doing winter tot on my liability, I also did it on this account. And we did winter tot all the way up to 90 fire making. In the process, I did get 31 construction from fixing all the braziers, 62 fletching as I did the fletching method for more points and also 63 wood cutting. All right, so 278 crates I'm about to open, but I just want to real quickly show you my stats. Uh, so these are my stats. The crates are actually based off of six different stats, and they are Herbler, which I'm level one, Mining, which I'm level 10, Fishing, which I'm level 56, Crafting, which I'm level one, Farming, which I'm level one, and Woodcutting, which I'm level 63. So three stats at level one, we have 10 mining, 56 fishing, and 63 woodcutting. Now, on my other series, my primary 10 HP series, I've been grinding out these stats like crazy. So this video is going to be a pretty good uh, comparison as to how much stats really affect the loot. So anyways, let's just jump on into the first 10 or so. I think we should open them by 10s.
No way. We already got the torch, and that was only the third one I opened. A second Bruma torch? What the heck, man? That's insane. I have two, and I've only opened 12 crates so far. Well, okay, let's take that back. I've opened 40 prior to, and then 12. So I've opened 52. So two and 52, if you want to be really exact. A third one? What is going on here? If a player has three Bruma torches in their bank or inventory, supply crates will instead give a Torstal seed. It's therefore recommended to keep excess Bruma torches unless bank space is an issue. Well, that's cool, so now I won't get any more of those. Oh, magic logs. Dude, I totally forgot. That's gonna be really good when I do Desert Treasure. Oh, oh, there's our first piece, the garb. Oh, and then there's the gloves. We're coming along. Oh, and now we have the hood. We're really coming along. I feel like I'm having some decently good luck. Knock on wood. I hope people in the comments aren't upset. Oh my gosh, and now the robe? Is that the full set? Oh, I'm missing the boots. Okay, I just need the boots for the full set. That'd be pretty cool if I got the boots. The full set would be awesome. Oh, and there's the boots. Okay, that's a full set. Another pair of warm gloves. Put those here. The only thing I'm missing is the phoenix and then the dragon axe. Oh my god, I just fucking got the phoenix! Holy shit! I fucking just jinxed it! Oh my god! Are you kidding me, Mac H? No way! <laughs> Are you serious, boys? Did I get it that quickly? Look at how many more I have. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for you guys because there's no way you guys have had the luck that this guy has had. If I get the Dragon Axe, I'm gonna lose my flipping mind, man. I hope I don't get it. I hope I don't get it. There's gonna be so much salt in the comments if I do get it.
Another set of warm gloves. And it's funny because I'm recording this before I actually opened any of the crates on my liability. So it's like, now I have all these high expectations of getting all this stuff. And if my liability doesn't get it, that'd be upsetting. The live finish opening is, uh, my name's South Mitten. They refer to Michigan as the Mitten because it quite literally looks like a Mitten. And uh, South Mitten is because I'm from the south part of Michigan. So that's actually where my name comes from. Oh, you know what? I haven't got a tome either, now that I think of it. So I'm missing the tome. And I'm missing the Dragon Axe. Wow, there's a hood. All right, we're down to the final crates. Okay, last attempt for the tome. All right, can't be upset by any means. Holy smokes, 520k. So let's do a little bit of organization real quick. Be good. Look at all the pieces I got. Okay, so let's start with this. So the Phoenix is 1 in 5k. We only opened 278 plus. I had 40 kill count to start. We're at, we're at roughly 318 kill count or 320 kill count or so on this account. But remember, you get like double the, the loot crate and sometimes I could have even got triple there. So really, my 1 in 318 triple loot every time, let's just say it like that, we probably got double loot quite a bit of the time too. There was 954 possible rules. We still got a 1 in 5k loot, which is insane, and then 12 pieces, so absolutely insane luck there. Um, what I do want to do is I want to kind of price check everything. Damn, so 3 mil up until the U logs. And then another 1.3. Damn, so that's like 4.4 mil or something on top of the pet and the outfit. Well, thank you guys so much for watching episode number one of South Mitten. Obviously, this account is going to have a ton of KO potential with the Granite Mall. Uh, you can arguably say that this account will even have more KO potential than my liability will. But yeah, as I said last video, my liability is currently working on stats to start doing raids. So I will be working on this account quite a bit. I know a lot of you guys have PM me saying that my liability has inspired you to create 10 HP Iron Man accounts. If you guys have been inspired but have 
haven't created a 10HP account, maybe now's the time to think about doing that. I've created a new account. We can go on this journey together. I'm not very far into this one. So honestly, guys, feel free to tag along, create an account of your own, and join the 10HP Iron Man community. If you do decide to do that, make sure to hop in my CC, Mac underscore H. I'll be in there to answer any questions. Additionally, feel free to come in my Discord. The links to that will be below in the description. Anyways, guys, I feel like I'm rambling now. Take it easy. We'll see you for episode number two.